Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to start my video from a question to you. How often do you hear from your dentist during dental appointment that you have to take an x-ray, one or several x-rays? I think very often, right? And a lot of people get confused. Maybe doctor wants to charge me more taking an x-rays. And believe me, in 90% doctor doesn't want to charge you more. Why? I'm going to explain you in today's video. So if you're interested, continue watching. Let's take a look to this illustration. Let's imagine that this tooth is in our oral cavity. And each tooth has a visible part, which is a clinical crown, and it is located above the gingiva. And each tooth has an invisible part, which is a root of the tooth, and it is located inside the bone. And usually when you come to dental office, you are complaining for severe or light pain, and it is because you have already a defect. And in most cases, this defect is a carious process or tooth decay. Uh, this process usually starts from the pits on the tooth or from the uh, fissures on your occlusal surface of the tooth. And doctor, he, can, he or she cannot distinguish the deepness of this uh, carious process because usually it starts from the um, very narrow hole and when it spreads down it becomes more um, wide or more wider and uh, to distinguish deepness of this caries process uh, we have to take an x-ray because this caries process can be just in enamel or it can be enamel and in time and the most important point that we have to know does pulp involved in this process or not if pulp is involved in this process of inflammation, it is going to have pulpitis. Pulpitis it is an inflammation of our pulp. And it is more complicated to treat because we have to do uh, root canal treatment. And in this case, we have to take an x-ray as well. Because when we do root canal treatment, we have to, take, we have to make a filling of the root canal and we have to know a precision of this feeling because we have to feel it to the apex of the root. If we are going to leave pulpitis untreated for a very long time, uh, infection is going to spread down and it is going to go out from the apex of the root and it is going to cause bone destruction or periodontitis. Uh, if you're going to leave this periodontitis untreated, it is going to develop cyst. Cyst is more complicated to treat than periodontitis or pulpitis. So, for each of these cases, we have to take an x-ray. And we have to take an x-ray if we are going to extract, to do a tooth extraction. Because we have to know a position of tooth in the alveolar bone. In conclusion, doctor have to take an x-ray if, if we want to know deepness of caries process, if we want to distinguish caries process from pulpitis, and if we want to distinguish bone distraction from cyst and from pulpitis, and as well when you want to extract a tooth. So I hope you found my video interesting for you today and helpful. I wish you good luck and great day, friends.